Hi everyone, today we are going to be making these cute little things. Focus, focus, there we go. And it's little <laughs> coffee mugs of hot chocolate. Well, at least it looks sort of like it. These are really easy to make, so I will show you. Sorry for the noise in the background, this is the little kid I keep. So, here we go. First, you are going to need, of course, your marshmallows. Okay? You, they have bigger ones now that are about mm, that big. They're huge. And I think they may work well if you're looking for something bigger. But these are like little bite-sized things. So you'll need uh, marshmallows. You will need sugar. I got sugar free ones because I'm feeding them to my kid and I don't want him to have too much sugar. But you can add these type of little cookies. You're going to need some candy canes because we're going to be using the tip of it. You would need, I chose to do white decorating icing and I used a little tip. And then if you want to use um, sprinkles, you can just put sprinkles as this right here. I looked for Christmas tree ones because I thought it would be cute for Christmas, but I couldn't find any. So I just used the um, same type of icing but green and I used a decorating tip. That looks like a star. See. And then for you already have one. You already have one. You have one in your hand. And for the chocolate part, you're gonna use brown or black. All they had was black gel icing. And then the mini marshmallows on top are actually from hot Ch hot cocoa. So I have a few of those there. Simple to use. We're going to start by taking a marshmallow and taking the candy cane here. And I'm going to actually cut it with some scissors to the length I need. Okay, so this is the size that I had to use. Yes, it's tiny and I made a mess because I had to keep cutting it to make it fit. So whenever I'm doing this, I'm just going to kind of, you know, figure out that might be the right that length. I don't know. I might have to cut it shorter. I'm not sure yet. But then once you have this, you're going to unwrap it. See how the wrapper still on there because it was easier to cut that way. Unwrap it. Now that I have it unwrapped, I'm going to take this icing, the white one. with It's got a little tiny, tiny tip on it. And I'm going to put it right here. and on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna take my candy cane and we're gonna stick it on like this. Oh, I need it might go a little bit higher with that icing, so low. All right, so I have my icing on the side. I went and I put my candy cane on there. I'm gonna let that sit like that so it can dry a little bit. It's gonna take a little longer for it to dry. But I'm going to now take my one of my cookies, set it down like this. I am actually not going to decorate the bottom part yet because these are so small. So I'm going to take the white icing again and put a little bit of icing around the edge. Take my little cup. Stick it on there. Oh no, don't fall apart. Like that. So then it looks like this. And I will take, let's see, switch my, my green icing right here. Sorry, it's so zoomed, but I have to, you have to be able to see it. And put a little bit of design right there on the center of it. And then if you'd like, I don't know if I actually have enough room on my cookie this time, like I did the other side, but if you'd like, you can try to put little designs around the cookie. So we have our designs and we all the way around the cookie. So then we have that part. Then once you have that part, this is just not wanting to stay. 
If you do it correctly though, it looks really cute like the first one. And I think the bigger marshmallows are gonna be better for this because of the fact that your candy cane is hard to get down to a size like that. But then, once you have that on the top of it, take and add some of your color like that and take a few mini marshmallows and pop them in there. Now I have two now I have two little coffee mugs full of hot chocolate or tea or whatever you might want with marshmallows, candy canes, and frosting and cookies. Super simple. You could probably make it cuter. <laughs> I would recommend the bigger marshmallows. They do make bigger marshmallows. So I think that would be better. Also, if you did bigger marshmallows, more than likely you can actually use the mini marshmallows and not the hot chocolate marshmallows. So, sorry that my skills of filming aren't very great right now. It's all over the place. The little boy that I'm watching keeps pulling on my legs and so I keep getting jerked around. <laughs> okay, all right. I think he is ready to go outside and go play. So, uh, we'll be doing that afterwards. Hope you guys liked this video and if you try it, hopefully yours turned out better than mine did. <laughs> Until next time.